The first thing you need to do is add a blank title to the main timeline. Then double tap on the clip. Open the clip editor, select the text by tapping on it, and then just delete it. Next, you'll want to tap on the plus sign and add a shape. Resize the rectangle so that it fills the entire screen. Then tap on face color and select blue. Tap the back arrow and select another title. Drop it on top of the blue screen. Double tap that new title and remove the text. Tap on the plus sign once again and tap shape. I'm going to add another rectangle and stretch it across the screen. It will make it easier for the next step. Change the face color to red. The next step is to animate the rectangle. Select frame and fit and then tap on cropping. Since we want the rectangle to go from left to right, I'm going to crop the rectangle from the right until it disappears off the screen. Then I'll insert a keyframe by tapping the plus sign underneath the start time of this video clip. A blue dot will appear. Then I'll play the clip for about a second. Pause it once more and then undo the crop that I just did so that I can see the red rectangle once again. Once I undo the crop, notice that a second keyframe will be automatically added. Now I'll tap on the back arrow That looks great. I'll grab one more plain title and drop it on top of the red rectangle. I'll double tap that clip. I'll tap on the text to select it. And then type the word subscribe. Then I'll tap Done, and I'll change the font. That looks good. Next, I'll resize the word Subscribe so that it fits inside the red rectangle a little bit better. I'll select Frame and Fit, and I have to animate the Subscribe text just like I did the red rectangle. I'll tap on cropping. I will crop the text from the right until it disappears. Then I'll go back to the beginning of the clip, add a keyframe. I'm going to play the clip until the red rectangle reappears. Then I will undo the crop. That's perfect. The animation matches up. The next thing you'll want to do is cut all of your layers to make them a bit shorter. And then play it again. I'm going to save this clip to my camera roll, so I don't have to repeat the keyframe animation backwards. I'll tap on the share icon, tap movie, and then choose photos, and tap the share icon once more. The clip has been saved to my camera roll. I'll play the clip. And then insert another copy of the clip I just saved right after the first one. Put it in the main timeline. And play it once more.
Notice that the clip repeats. This is fine. Double tap the clip you just added, and then select Speed and Reverse. Tap on the reverse switch. This will play the clip backwards. This may take a few moments. Wait until it's done and then back out to the preview window. Now play the entire clip. There's the logo that appears, and it disappears. Rather than repeat the keyframe animation, I just reverse the clip. Save this clip once more, I'll bring it down into the first audio track. Then I'll play the video to see how it sounds. I can use the first part. So I'll slice the audio track right after the first waveform by tapping on the scissors icon to cut the audio track. And I'll remove the part I don't want by tapping on the trash can. Then I'll move it into position. And play the video once more. That sounds good. I want the sound effect to play twice, once as the logo appears, and then again when it disappears. So I will move the playhead to the point where the subscribe logo first begins to disappear off screen. And then I will duplicate the existing sound effect and place it right at that point. Just tap the duplicate icon and drag the duplicated audio to the right of the playhead. Play the video and see how that sounds. The sound effect works, but the animation is too slow. I need to speed it up, so I'll double tap the video clip Open the clip editor, tap on speed in reverse, and move the slider to 2.00x. This will speed up the animation and allow the sound effects to be more in sync with the video. I'll play the video to show you how that sounds. Now I'll save this clip by tapping the export icon, tapping movie, and choosing a destination. I'll choose iCloud Drive since I'm going to use this in all of my videos. Then I'll give the clip a name so I can find it easily. I'll tap the export icon once more. Once the movie is written, choose the folder where you want to store the clip and tap add. The clip is now added to iCloud Drive. To use the clip, add it to your imported folder. Tap the icon on the right and select iCloud Drive. Here, you should see all of your files. Tap on the file that you want and it will download and appear in the imported window. Tap on the clip, long press and drag it down to a video track Play the video and you'll see the graphic appear, but you'll need to resize and reposition it in the bottom left hand corner. To do that, tap on the clip. To open the clip editor, tap on frame and fit, and then tap size and position. Move the graphic to the bottom left hand corner of the screen and resize it.
then hit the reverse arrow once more and play the video again. The graphic should now appear in the proper position.